this, this doesn't have any tans in it. So it doesn't have any tans in it. But this does. So there are no tans. So I'm going to put some tans in. Right? I also notice, I also notice, for instance, I have, see, see the terms here in my fraction? Right? Do you notice there's a cubed term and a squared term and one tan theta and a constant term? Do you notice that? And do you notice the numbers that I have here? How many, how many tan cubes do I have? I've, well, I have negative one. I have one of these. How many tan squareds do I have? I have negative three of them. That's kind of sus, right? Okay, let's, let's unpack this, right? Um, I'm going to let x equal tan theta. That's my first line. Okay, let x equal 10 theta. And by the way, this is a classic example of what does get done um, in extension 2 because now you have this, this whole world of, of more challenging identities now open to you. Okay? So I'm going to just do my straight substitution. This is 10 cubed plus 3 tan squared minus 3 tan <coughs> minus 1. <coughs> okay, now how can I get, how can I craft this into something like this that I can take advantage of. Someone want to give me a suggestion? Divide by something. I do need to divide by something, right? I, I kind of want to divide by this, don't I? You see that? Where is that in here? Well, there's my 1, mm -hmm. and there's my 3 10 squared. So I'm going to move him on the other side. Uh, what's left here? 3 10. Yep. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 3 tenths squared the theta from both sides. Okay? I'm happy there? Now I can divide, right? Um, but you've got to watch out, you know, as usual when dividing, dividing removes solutions from an equation, right? Just like if I gave you this, which has two solutions. If I divide through by x in this case, right? I get a solution. It's, a, it's an actual solution, but I've lost the solution, right? What, what have I lost? Zero. I've lost x equals 0, right, when I did that. However, in fact, in this case, you know what, x can equal 0. So that's why when you state this, when you remove it from the um, possible solutions you could find algebraically, you've got to go back and test it. In exactly the same way that when you do t results, t results take a solution out of play, right? They take uh, pi, pi, no, pi on 2, and 3 pi on 2, etc. okay? Um, which therefore results to theta on pi equals pi because it's, you know, um, half angle results. Um, the same thing is happening here though, right? When I divide by 1 minus 3 tan squared equals, equals what? 1, um, I'm taking solutions out of play, right? What solutions am I taking out of play? That, um, 1 minus 3 tan squared Good. So what I've said at this point here is 1 minus 3 tan squared theta can't equal to 0. Right? So I'm not going to do it now for the sake of time, but you would, you'd have to go and check. This is 10 theta equals plus or minus 1 on root 3, right? Which is uh, pi on 6. 6? Yeah, pi on 6. Plus or minus pi on 6, okay? So you check those, okay? But I just, I'm just drawing your attention to it. Okay, yeah. Um, if I get a question like a straight term, I wouldn't like know immediately that I was dealing with complex numbers, yep. so how would I know to give my answers in pi? Um, okay, yeah, sure, that's a great question. When dealing with angles, okay, and it's a little bit unfortunate this is the way it's been, um, the whole of like your 11 and 12 mathematics has really been focused on, and it will continue to focus even more, on calculus. Like why we're we doing algebra and functions? Because you needed to understand calculus. Um, why are we doing, say, these trig expansions? Because you need them when you're doing the calculus of trig functions, right? You can't, you can't deal with it in any other way. Um, therefore, degrees kind of go away. Degrees are useful because they're, well, they're easy in whole numbers when you've got like a rectangle and that kind of thing. But when you're doing like proper maths with them, you have to do it in radians, okay? Um, however, you know, if you, if you wanted to stay, 60 or 30 degrees, right? It's not so hard. You just say 30 degrees. Like that is the same as pi on 6. You would get marked down if you had to do some calculus in here, which at the moment we're not, right? Because calculus, and I'm going to get to the reasons why when we, we introduce it formally, calculus has to be done in radians, right? It's, it's a bit unusual to understand, like, what difference does the units make? 
kind of does make a difference for you to remember that these are units, and I, I proved to you, I showed you why by definition, these are not. They're not actually units. So we're not comparing some units. It's like, I like metric versus I like imperial. No, 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 no. We're comparing units and, and mathematics without units. Ratios, exactly. So that's why it works. So if, if there were calculus involved, yes, you would. Um, if the original question gave it in terms of, like it gave you a domain restriction in terms of radians, you would be expected to use radians. Um, the, the easy answer is, always use radians, unless they tell you otherwise. Okay, now, I'm almost there. I'm not going to finish solving this to, for you just because of time, but I'm going to map out the path for you. Uh, this is useful, almost, right? It, it's not the triple angle formula, is it? It's not, it's masquerading. You need to take a negative. I need to take a factor of negative one out. So in order to get this numerator facing the right direction and have that 3, 10 theta out the front, I'm going to say 3, 10 theta minus 10 cubed. And then this guy. But being that I took the factor of negative one out there, it's got to go somewhere. I don't want to go on the denominator because that's the right way. So it's over there now. So is the answer just negative one? Um, well, now what I've got is that this is tan 3 theta, okay? Like so. Like I just went and proved that, right? You, you happy with that? So what I have done now is I've transformed a polynomial question into a quick trick question. Actually, you know what? This is not that hard to do. Um, remember when we were doing um, the finding the nth roots, the, the roots of a complex number, right? What we, what we eventually got up to was a point like this. We'd say cos... Uh, by De Marvel's theorem, you had like cos 3 theta over here, something like that. And then you'd say, uh, I have an angle there, right? Do you remember this? So then I would say, well, the most obvious solution to this is when these two things are identical, right? That's the most obvious solution, that 3 theta can be pi on 6 itself. But it's not the only solution. Cosine is periodic every how many radians? Every two radians. So I can, um, I can add any even multiple of pi. Right? That plus 2 pi, that plus 4 pi, plus 6 pi, they're all good. And subtraction as well. Right? Now when I look at this, how can I take advantage of this knowledge here? I don't have 10 something equals 10 something else. Except I do. What is this 10 of? Minus pi of 4. Very good. Now admittedly, if you, if you didn't see that right away, that's, that's okay. Your calculator can tell you, I'll do 10 inverse of negative 1, and it'll hand you negative pi of 4, very faithfully. So the most obvious answer to this is 3 theta equals minus pi on 4, where those two answers are the same. Okay? But we know there are loads more solutions, an infinite number more solutions. Unlike cosine, though, I added 2k pi because the period of cosine is what again? It's 2 pi. Every 2 pi I repeat, <laughs> right? But 10 is not periodic every 2 pi. It's periodic every pi, pi radians. So in fact, I don't add 2k pi. I add k pi again for integer values of k. Okay? Uh, I guess at this point I would divide through 12. Okay? And... Um, <coughs> Now, we're literally at the same point we were over here. Do you remember from here to find the, um, you know, say the cube roots of whatever complex numbers I was dealing with? I would then, I would just go through the values of k, right? I'm going to go through until I get all of the solutions that I'm expecting, okay? Yes? I'm very lost because um, if we, even if we do find all the values of theta, how is that answering the question? Okay, it's a great question, right? So, Let's just find one solution for this, okay? You can find the rest of them, you can, you can crunch through, okay? What's an obvious solution? What's the first solution you would find of this? Minus, Minus pi and 12. 12, thank you, okay? So, example, right? I'm going to call it theta 1. Theta 1, uh, or k equals 0, when k equals 0, I'm going to get the first theta, which is minus pi on 12, okay? Now, I introduced all of this theta myself, right there. You see that? Yeah. So if minus pi on 12 is a solution for theta, right, then 10 pi on 12 is a solution for x. Does that make sense? So what I've done is, it's just like when you do um, substitution, it's like, oh great, I introduced u equals 2 to the x or something like that. But I don't want solutions in u, I want solutions in x, so I, I climb back up the ladder. And I say, if that's a solution for theta, I say therefore, correspondingly, the first solution for x is... 10 of pi on 12, which I have no idea what its actual value is, but you can go ahead and find it. Oh, sorry. 
we will of course get some positive solutions. I mean, the next one, uh, minus pi on 12 plus pi on 3 is going to be like minus, pi uh, sorry, it's going to be 3 pi on 4. Plus pi. Yeah, it'll be 3 pi on 12. Wait, which is pi on 4, so that'll be my next solution, and then my next solution. And you can evaluate those, like 10 pi on 4 is just 1, one, one. right? Yeah. Does, it, does it work? 1 plus yeah. 3 minus 3 minus 1 better equal 0, <laughs> right? And when you get to 10 pi on 12, right, this is some, can someone give me, what is it? Like I assume it's a cert of some kind, right? Yeah. It's some weirdo looking cert. Okay. Now, when you take that, you can you can pop it in here. Let it e assign it to a variable on your calculator. Like call it a, and then do a cubed plus three a squared minus three a minus one. It's a weird number you'd never get by like really factorize that. But the trigonometry tells you the solution. Okay. So it's quite it's quite profound bringing together these strands to solve an otherwise insoluble question, or at least very very challenging using the methods that you had before. How would you like make sure that if it was a solution, how would you like Okay, so um, you remember, uh, I, oh, I didn't even state it, sorry, that was a bit naughty. Oh, did I? And I rubbed it off? I think I rubbed it off. Really? Um, zero. Okay, so from here, just like for T results, right? So this is me dealing with the restriction that I added by dividing, right? I added it in, so I better take care of it, right? Um, the solutions that I'm ignoring are tan theta equals plus or minus. 1 on root 3, which I think we were saying is plus or minus root pi on 6. Okay, So then I would say, well, okay, um, these are potential solutions I'm missing. Yeah. They're potential solutions I'm missing. So what I will test is x equals um, 10 of that. Right? Look, for example, I would do 10 pi on 6. Okay, So I would, I would, in fact, I don't even really need to do this. I can just go straight to x equals 10 theta. One of them is going to be 1 on root 3. One is going to be minus 1 on root 3. And then I, I put them in. Right? Uh, for instance, okay, let's, let's do 1 on root 3, the positive one, new color. Uh, 1 on root 3, cubed, is 1 on 3 root 3, isn't it? 1 on root 3, 3 lots of 1 on root 3 squared is a third, right? Um, minus 3 of 1 on root 3, minus 1. What is this thing? Okay, let's see. Um, 3, that's one. Um, that's well, that's one, and that, that disappears over there. I've got one on three root three, take away three on root three. Well, I don't care what that is. It's not, it's not zero. So it's not a solution. So I'm fine. I've, I've eliminated this. I, I took that out of the running, but it wasn't a solution anyway. So great, you know, just like when you test, oh, theta equals pi. Does it work? Does it not? It's not, so I'm fine.